Okay, this is the caravan for sale. Just doing a tour. This is a high security lock on the door. Um, so a more specialised key. And it gives a bit of a security. And inside the van, just from the door there, you've got a seating area there that doubles, uh, the table goes down to become a bed, a single bed. And then um, if you need to make doubles, uh, uh, bunk beds, then this bit here unlatches. And this piece comes out to form on these shelves. Uh, second um, bunk bed. Um, probably not really suitable for adults um, and limits the space on the lower bunk when you use it but uh, it can uh, be good for young children if that's the way. So in the cupboards here you can see we've got plenty of storage space. We use these for food storage or um, sort of blankets and things. You've got a curtain that comes across here that sections off that bedding area there. A cooker. <coughs> when setting up the caravan I installed this um, level which uh, helps to uh, gauge the level of the caravan um, when you're adjusting the, the stanchions. The hob, uh, four burner hob um, with a grill underneath. It has uh, automatic ignition um, to, to light the, the burners. That's a bit of washing up. And this area here holds up to give you the sink area and a side splash area or you can change this to a slightly different arrangement where you've got a sort of extra working space there for when you're cooking or doing things uh, the tap um, runs um, the pumped uh, system, hot and cold running water. Up here um, we've included a couple of fire extinguishers just in case. Um, that's where I, we used to store food. Uh, there's a nice area there for cups and saucers and uh, mugs and things. Uh, it stops it from jiggling about when, when you're um, going along. Uh, um, kitchen roll holder there in there um, we've got the wine glasses these are plastic that come with the caravan um, just fixed in place quite quite convenient quite um, useful and then in the end here another storage cupboard the lights these lights here are 240 240 volts AC so when it's on hookup which it currently is you can see those lights <coughs> you can see here there's some damage um, a couple of winters ago uh, when it, we left it over the winter um, and without covered storage uh, it began to leak at some point in the winter we came back and found it got it into dry storage quickly it's dried out now there is no leak it's been repaired but the remnants of the leak that was there for the period that we, uh, we had the problem is still evident so under here you've got reading lights all good another one there and I've um, rigged up an ammeter uh, to show how much the battery is charging or how much it's using <coughs> at the bottom there and that can be flicked over in there to gauge how much you're taking or how much you're giving there's a TV amplifier um, you need to plug in the aerial which is 
stored under here and ready to go plenty of storage in the cupboard under here for blankets and things you can see the blue pipe is where the cold water supply comes into the caravan um, I've given you plenty of uh, um, UHF cable for the aerial um, and a spare fan heater we had that's it, that'll come with it the uh, thing there, that's an immersion heater heats the water once you prime the system with cold water that tank fills up and either if you're hooked up you can have uh, 240 volts heating the water or you can um, have it so that uh, it's a gas supply um, heating the water for you that pulls over and gives us the basis for the heat seating you've got a, f a heater there this is a gas fired heater um, it, it has a flue straight out to the top so there's no risk of fumes in the van um, but it also has um, a fan system this uh, um, Truma vent fan system which you can uh, put on and that gives you the heat from that heater through the vents at the bottom here and at the other end of the caravan up that end so it's quite convenient um, in here you've got a three-way fridge it's all working um, somebody's uh, locked it there we go so this is a um, three-way fridge it runs on 12 volts when you're towing 240 volts if you are hooked up or it'll run on gas you can see the sight glass down the bottom here that allows you to see you can actually set use use gas to run the fridge and you've got a cupboard here for cutlery um, and then a grill gas grill there the grill pan is in the bottom stored uh, you've got an oven this is a gas oven and we do have a couple of things to go with it down here giving you a kettle and various bits and pieces that's the isolation valve for the gas down there <coughs> plenty of storage the bathroom is here you can see you've got a table that can be taken down and used outside the van or even inside the van if you wish uh, plenty of cupboards um, above the sink the sink itself the fountain spray head here lifts up and hooks on to there to become a shower and that sort of tucks back tucks back down and you can adjust the temperature with the hot and cold taps there you do need a fairly good supply of water before you go in the shower it has to be said the toilet is um, it's, it's completely external but um, the, the details are there you've got an electric pump which pumps the cleaning fluid around it um, very uh, convenient and easy to use um, so there's a little bit of wear on the doors and the wood there I think that's more, more to do with age we think it's about 1992 this caravan but you can see the carpets we actually put this pink carpet in um, to protect the carpet underneath the carpet underneath is clean but you you can see this this can be lifted in and out and it's reasonable condition because that's where most people have their feet um, this cupboard here which is a wardrobe and I fitted this piece of wood down the bottom here which allows you to put a microwave in here um, but the piece of slat of wood stops it from jiggling around when you're moving okay you've got the roof vent up here and another roof vent in the bathroom so of the lights you, these are 12 volt fluorescent lights
and we have another light under here which is useful at night for cooking and things okay that's the tour of the van outside and you can see we've got the right key You can see there's plenty of space in there. We've got two gas bottles. One is a, propa a butane bottle, and that one's a, a propane bottle. I've given you the sandcastle stuff, and I've got a two way gas valve that I fitted myself um, that allows you to switch from one bottle to the other if, if it's running out without having to worry about fitting a new bottle in the middle of the night. That's quite convenient. Um, then you've got the water heater there and the water filter. This is where you plug the water supply in and runs the pump from. Um, there's the battery compartment and this is where you empty the toilet at this end. <coughs> All the lights are working and I've generally left it with the brakes off, so the brakes are fine. Um, no seizing or anything. That's, that's the end of the video.